Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the Fastest Sports Classics 2017 video where I show the best fully upgraded Sports Classics cars in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check that original Sports Classics video, but otherwise let's see where the new Infernus and Turismo Classics fall into that list. And between the two of them, in terms of the Infernus and the Turismo, the Infernus is the one that we're going to be seeing first, and this is going to be a pretty much a video of the top four sports classics cars in the game because we've got DLC vehicles that are mixing it in there with those top vehicles. The Infernus Classic here slots itself into third place with a 1 minute 6.267. That is a good, you know, three seconds quicker than what we just saw in fourth place from the Z type. And it's actually a competitive vehicle with the Sterling GT, which used to be our number one vehicle in the sports classic class. When you actually look back, if you're at all interested in going back at the sports classics video and seeing where all of the sports classics cars in the game rank there are quite a lot of vehicles that are on that same pace as the z type the one minute nine one minute tens and we did have quite a good balance of cars there but then we got the sterling gt which ruined it now we have the infernus classic which is pretty much on exactly the same pace as the sterling gt so that's pretty good it is sort of what you would expect from a classic old supercar uh, in that respect in in, in so far as it, it will bite it does have a bit of oversteer and you know if you get it wrong it is going to kill you it does have that feel to it but it is a pretty competent car and obviously that's a very very good lap time for the sports classics class but it is only in third place and just trailing by a tenth of a second to the sterling gt which is now in second place for a long time this has been the king of the sports classics class no more because the new king is the turismo classic it shoots straight into first place in the class with a 1 minute 4.599 lap time. As you may have just seen, the Sterling GT got a 1 minute 6.1. The Infernus Classic was a 1 minute 6.2. So those two vehicles were very, very close. The Turismo Classic is leagues ahead of that. It's basically done to the Sterling GT what the Sterling GT did to the rest of the Sports Classics class. And that would actually be a very, very competitive time in the regular sports class as well. It's actually a shame that we can't use the Turismo Classic in the sports, uh, sports category. But the Turismo Classic is a very, very competent vehicle. It, it's it, it's quite similar to a Cheetah, I would say. And that, it, it's a real wheel drive, uh, you know, very high traction, good top speed, that kind of thing. It, it wouldn't necessarily be out of place if it was in the supercars class. Obviously, it would be off the pace, but it, it would it feels quite like a supercar to drive. And in terms of the way that you know the, the pace of the vehicle, it is very, very quick. Now the Sterling GT was always very very good in the corners but it always had a significant weakness when it came to top speed. You could say that the Turismo Classic is basically a Sterling GT that has a better top speed, it has a competitive top speed to it which allows it to basically be a complete vehicle for the, uh, for the Sports Classics class and ultimately at this point you don't need any other vehicle when you're doing Sports Classic races. The Turismo Classic is the only thing that you need. I've put the comparison here between the Turismo and the Infernus just because those are the two new vehicles. Um, but the, obviously with the Sterling GT being pretty much on exactly the same pace as the Infernus, the lap time difference that you'll see at the end of the video would be the same between first and second as well. And it is pretty significant and, and there's no real area where the Turismo is all that much better than the Infernus. It's just it's a little bit better everywhere and the same goes for the Sterling GT as well. Obviously, apart from the, the, the terrible top speed of the Sterling, but the, the Turismo just gets that lap time from being a very, very well-rounded, very, very good car to drive, and it is very, very quick as well. And to think that we've gone from the Z-Type being the quickest sports classic car in the game with a 1 minute 9 to now having the Turismo with a 1 minute 4, it, it's crazy the increase in lap time that we've had due to DLC vehicles. And now the Turismo is absolutely dominant in the sports classic class. It really is the only one that you need. Apart from top speed dominated races, which we'll see in the top speed testing video for these cars tomorrow. So that's pretty much it. Obviously, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, if you want to go back and watch the original Sports Classics video as well, it will be linked at the end and in the playlist. And you will see all the Sports Classics all ranked and that goes for all other vehicles as well. And we will be continuing with all the other classes in the game every single week. So thank you all so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.